nice to see all of you again. Welcome to another installment of the Classics Retold, the place where stories unfold. This week, we talk about the strength that each and every one of you have inside, no matter how big or how small you are. This story is called Thumbelina. Up on a hill in a small cottage with many plants surrounding it, there lived an old woman. She was alone with no husband or children and only her precious plants to keep her company. If only you could talk, I wouldn't feel so lonely. She grew many colorful flowers and juicy fruits in her garden. There were tulips and roses, daisies and butterfly peas, grapes and oranges, and kiwis too. But she still felt lonely. One day, the old woman was watering her plants when she heard a soft, sweet voice singing. Sometimes I wonder what it'd be like if I were the sun Being friends with the stars and the planets and knowing them all by name And watching every night the galaxy shining in all of its glory If I were the sun, what a life that would be Where was it coming from? She searched and searched and searched. She checked her front door. Where do you see? There's a welcome mat and a shoe rack. But was anyone there? No. Next, she checked her windows. What do you see? There were birds and butterflies. But was anyone there? No. She even checked under her bed. There were books and shoes, but still, no one was there. Just as she was about to give up, she heard the soft, sweet voice again and realized it was coming from one of her plants. She rushed to the sound and there it was. A red rose was glowing. It shined so brightly, the old woman had to cover her eyes. When she opened them again, the rose petals had spread open and a small girl no bigger than the old woman's thumb, sat in the center. The girl looked up at the old woman and reached out towards her. Mama? The old woman was so happy, she picked the girl up gently and looked at how tiny she was. You are so small. You're the size of my thumb. Hmm. I shall name you Thumbelina. The old woman took care of Thumbelina. They did everything together. They cooked, cleaned, and played many games together. Boys and girls, do you like to play games? What's your favorite game? Their favorite game was, I spy with my little eye. The old woman thought it was interesting how being bigger meant she could see things that were much bigger and further away. While being smaller, Manthamalina saw the smaller things and the tiny details like the patterns on leaves and branches. And in the night, Thumbelina would sing for the old woman. Sometimes I wonder what it'd be like if I were a bird. Soaring over mountains and oceans to fly from the sun to the sea. A magical new world for me to discover If I were a bird, what a life that would be Sometimes I lie in my bed and I dream Of what it would be like if I were a queen I'll have a palace and jewels and everything I've ever wanted Think. I 
I'd rather be me. And for once in her life, the old woman didn't feel lonely. She was happy. However, they didn't know that a huge nasty toad with black patches had heard Thumbelina's voice and had been watching her from the windows of the cottage. He would make a lovely wife for my son. And one night, after the old woman had fallen asleep, the toad crept into the room and snatched Thumbelina from the bed. Thumbelina had to escape, so she tried to push away from the toad's hand. She pushed and pushed and pushed, but the toad was too big and strong, and Thumbelina was too small and weak. Thumbelina was brought to a dark, dirty, and disgusting cave. In there were many toads, all huge and scary, and they looked at Thumbelina as if they wanted to eat her. So you're going to be my wife. Oh no, that was the toad that wanted to marry her. He snatched her up and threw her into a small hole in the wall, covering it with a large leaf. So you can't escape. He laughed as he listened to Thumbelina's cries. She tried to push at the leaf, but it was too big and heavy, and she was too small and weak to lift it. And that night, she didn't sing. Instead, she cried through the night. As the morning came and the sun rose, Thumbelina thought, This is usually the time me and Mama would play. I spy with my little eye. She really missed her Mama. Shall we play a game with her? Yes, let's go! I spy with my little eye something that begins with the letter L. Everyone, can you see anything that begins with the letter L? Leaf? That's right. Let's try again. I spy with my little eye something that begins with the letter S. What begins with S? Soil? Good job. Okay, last one. I spy by with my little eye, something that begins with the letter C. Thumbelina looked around. Hmm, what begins with the letter C? Cracks? Cracks! There were cracks in the leaf. The toad may not have seen the small cracks because he was too big. But Thumbelina sure did. If she could just find a way to widen the crack a little, she would be able to squeeze her way out. So she started using her nails to scratch at the leaf. She did not give up. For hours, she kept scratching and scratching and scratching, and the hole became bigger and bigger and bigger. Her arms and shoulders started to hurt so badly, but she was determined to get out of the cave. As the sun began to set, Thumbelina knew she had to make her move now, or it would be too dark to find her way home. She listened to the croaking toads as they munched on insects and planned the wedding. No way am I marrying that cruel toad! Softly, she squeezed through the small crack. No one noticed her. She was being very quiet and they were talking very loudly. She tiptoed along the sides of the cave, keeping as close to the wall as possible. Let's move as quietly and as close to the wall as possible, just like Thumbelina. Let's try, softly and slowly. Shh, softer and slower.
and as she made it to the opening of the cave, a toad from behind her yelled, She's escaping! And Thumbelina started running. Run, everyone, run! Run as fast as you can! Run, run, run! Thumbelina could hear the toads behind her running and chasing after her and knew she couldn't outrun them. They were bigger, faster, and stronger than her. Think, Thumbelina, think. You can't let them catch you. Seeing a rock, she quickly hit behind it and freeze. Don't move. Don't make a sound. Where did she go? The toad stopped and looked around. She couldn't have gone far. Search the surroundings and find my bride. After hiding behind the rock for a little while more, she heard the toads return to their cave. They had given up, and she had won. And that's when Thumbelina ran back home. The old woman was relieved and so happy to see that her daughter was safe. She was proud too, for even though Thumbelina was smaller than the others, she had great inner strength that would get her through any challenge that may come her way. Sometimes I dream of all the fantastical things I could be. But I know it's nice to be me. Before we go, I have a question for you. Will you give up when things get tough? Or will you be as strong as Thumbelina? Share your responses with us by commenting on this video or sending us a message below. And now it's time to close the show. Join us again for another classic retold. Mm -hmm.